Ooh, good morning. Good God, morning. Hey, how is everyone? Light. Let there be light. Right? Just need some light. Oh, yes. God is good. God is always good. God is excellent. Spirit is working in the background. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Life is good and all is well. Let's just see if we can bring some people in. It's early. It is. And God is amazing. Let's see who's up this morning. <laughs> Who am I? I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. I want to thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for listening. Thank you for moving through this journey of expansion. Yes. To expand our consciousness into the super consciousness of spirit. Allowing it to move. To bless us. To carry us. To open doors that we did not know would be open to give us lands that we did not buy and spaces that we did not expect or know for saying yes to all and everything oh how amazing life can be when we just surrender right? surrender to the truth of the children who we are our master our creator, our giver of gifts, our teacher. Yes, God is amazing. Life is fantastic if you so desire it. If you stay in that mi mindset, chaos will become peace. Truth will show its face. And we can ask, for everything, no matter how big we may think it is, nothing is too big for spirit to give you. Understanding can come. Life can become amazing. I desire to live in heaven. How about you? Tell me whether you desire to live in the glory of heaven. Removing yourself from all the chaos around you. All the things that the news reports, all the things that the pipe paper says. Letting go of all angst and anxiety. Not trying to fight something that is too big for you to fight. Let God do your battling. Sometimes all you have to do is be quiet. And God will do the rest. He will fix everything that we see as broken. Nothing is broken. We are just growing and traveling through this world. For remember, we are spiritual beings. Just having a human experience. That's it. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Moving into light of consciousness of God. This is an amazing journey. If you just release, forgive, and just be. Yeah. So let's see who's coming on this morning. I am here. Oh, Father God. <laughs> you know, every time I wake up, I just have to say thank you. So many people did not wake up today. So many people went to the other side today and I am grateful that I am not one of them that I am still here to do God's work I am still here to get better in my consciousness to release all angst and anxiety thank you God thank you God for this and so much more we are grateful yes yes we are grateful So I'm just kind of 
letting people know that I am here. I'd love to see you. I'd love to share this with you. I just invite everybody, right? I wish I could, but that's not it. It's not my job. It's God's job to work with you. Not my job. It's God's job to give you understanding. It's God's job to give you the blessings. It's your job to allow them to come. That's it. That's all. So, thank you, God. That's all we can say is thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the ability to release, release all those things that no longer serve us, no longer are with us, no longer do we need. Just move to the next highest level. The next highest level of consciousness. Yes. And so it is. And I am done. Ooh, so let's stretch. And get ready. Let's stretch. And breathe. And breathe. And breathe. So every morning I come here uh, to share the A Course in Miracles lesson. And we are on lesson, lesson 107. Which means that we've been here 107 days. Um, maybe more, maybe less. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Let's say that. Someone write it in the chat. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Close your eyes and say it out loud. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. So I do this a lot. I ask for truth. Truth in situations. Truth in relationships. Truth in life. God's truth, the truth, and the truth will come, and it will correct all errors in my mind. Mm. Hit the like button, hit the share button, so people can see and hear A Course in Mirrors. Lesson 107, truth will correct all errors in my mind. Mm. Just sit with that for a minute. Yes. It's 7.18. I usually come in at 6 and I've been up. <laughs> that hour went by really fast. So... What can correct illusions but the truth? What can correct all illusions but the truth? And what are errors but illusions that remain unrecognized for what they are? Where truth has entered, errors disappear. They merely vanish, leaving not a trace by which to be remembered. They are gone because without belief, they have no life. And so they disappear into nothingness. Returning whence they came back into illusion. They just return. From dust to dust, they come and go. For all truth remains. All errors disappear. Because they're illusions. They're not true. Just think about that for a minute. Mm. And they leave no trace. Not in your consciousness. When you let go of error to thinking, it becomes better. Life becomes happier and joyous. Can you imagine what a state of mind without illusion is? How would it feel? A 
state of mind without illusion, without untruths, without error thinking. Try to remember when there was a time, perhaps a minute, maybe even less than nothing, when nothing came to interrupt your peace. When you were certain you were loved and safe. Try to remember that. Do you remember a moment in your life where you were, you knew you were loved? Where you knew there was nothing but peace? That you were safe? Everything was well. Everything was good. Can you imagine that? Then try to pic picture what it would be like to have that moment be extended to the end of time. to eternity. Can you just imagine what it be, would be like to live in peace and safety and joy all the time? Then let that sense of quiet that you felt be multiplied a hundred times. Then be multiplied another hundred times. And then another hundred times. And then another hundred times. Can you imagine what that would be? Mm. We ask this, Holy Father. Universal God. Mm. <laughs> that would be a great, great place, don't you think? Don't you think it would be fantastic to live in safety and joy and happiness and peace? Have that feeling all just emanating out of you and how much it would change your experience. I can imagine. There's a lot going on outside. I opened my window this morning. I should have probably kept it closed, but it is what it is. And now you have a hint, not more than just a, the faintest imagination of the state your mind will rest in when the truth has come. Without illusion, there could be no fear, no doubt, no attack. Mm. When truth has come, all pain is over. For there is no room for transitory thoughts and dead ideas to linger in your mind. Truth occupies your mind completely, liberating you from all beliefs in the ethereal. Mm. Gosh, that's a great place to be. They have no place because the truth has come and they are nowhere. They cannot be found for truth is everywhere forever now. Hmm. Truth. Gosh, it feels so good to know that truth is everywhere. That peace is everywhere. That joy is everywhere. That safety is everywhere. That you are surrounded by those truths. And when truth has come, it does not stay a while to disappear or change to something else. It does not shift or alter from its form, nor come and go and go and come again. It stays exactly as it always was to be depended on in every need and trust with a perfect trust in all the seemingly difficulties and the doubts that in appearance the world presents this truth. 
They will merely bow away when truth corrects the errors in the mind. Mm. Illusion will disappear when truth arrives. When truth has come, it harbors in its wings the gift of perfect cons consistency. And love which does not alter or falter in the face of pain, but looks beyond it steadily and sure. Mm. Here is the gift of healing. For the truth needs no defense, and therefore no attack is possible. Illusions can be the thoughts to truth to be corrected, but the truth stands far beyond illusions and cannot be thought to, to them to turn them into truth. Truth does not, does not come and go, nor shift, nor change in the appearance now. And then truth, truth. Evading capture and escaping grasp. It does not hide. It stands in open light, in obvious accessibility. It is impossible that anyone could seek it truly and would not succeed. In your heart, do you seek the truth? Do you? do you seek the truth that's there? Do you ask for the truth in all situations? And then sit and let it appear. It is impossible that anyone could seek it truly and would not succeed. Today belongs to truth. Give truth its due and it will give you yours. Mm. You were not meant to suffer and to die. Your father wills these dreams be gone. Let truth correct all of them. We were not meant to suffer it is a choice. We do not ask for what we do not have. We merely ask for what belongs to us that we may recognize it as our own. Today we practice on the happy note of certainty that has been born of truth and shake and unsteady footsteps. The shake, shaky and un. Steady footsteps of illusion are not our approach today. We are not shaken. We are not unsteady. We know the truth. We accept the truth. We open the truth. We are not, we are as certain of success as we are sure we live and hope and breathe and think. We do not doubt we walk with the truth today. If we count on it, to enter into our, all the exercises that we do today. Mm. Begin by asking him who, give, who goes with you upon this understanding that he be in your awareness as you go with him. Carry spirit with you. The spirit of truth. You are not made of flesh and blood and bones, but were created by the self-same thought which gave the gift of life to him as well. He is your brother. So like to you, your father knows that you are both the same. It is yourself you ask to go with you. And how could he be absent where you are? It's impossible. It's impossible. God is amazing. He's always with you. Just as your brother Jesus is always with you. In all things. In all happiness. In all joy. In all crisis. 
Truth will correct all errors in your mind, which tell you you could be apart from him. To speak to him today and make your pledge to let God's function, his function, be fulfilled through you. To share his function is to share his joy. His confidence is with you as you say. Close your eyes. Truth will correct all errors in my mind and I will rest in him who is myself. Truth will correct all errors in my mind, and I will rest in him, God, who is myself. Remember, his image and likeness was given to you. Then let him lead you gently to the truth, which will envelop you and give you peace so deep and tranquil that you will return to the familiar world. Yes. Reluctantly. So we have angst and anxiety about that truth, that last statement, that I will rest in God who is myself. That might give you some angst, some resistance, but let it go. Just say it and allow your spirit to move you into a space of peace and truth. And yet you will be glad to look again upon the world, for you will bring with you the promise of changes, which the truth that goes with you will carry to the world. As we think, so does the world think. As we change, so will the world change. As we rest in God, so will everyone else. They will increase with every gift you give for five small minutes, and the error that surrounds the world will be corrected as you let them be corrected in your mind. So do not forget your function today. Each time you tell yourself with confidence, truth will correct all errors in my mind. You speak for all the world and him who would release the world as he would set you free. So remember, Truth will correct all errors in my mind. All error thinking will be dissolved and replaced by truth. I am Rosa J. doing it God's way each and every day. And I thank you for liking, sharing, for going to the uh, links in, my, in the description. Liking and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Liking... My, the page, I Am Affirmations, buying my book from that page. I am grateful for this opportunity, and I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Be peaceful. Allow your mind, your error thinking, to lie in truth today. Truth will correct every, every error in my mind. So remember, just say this. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Namaste.